What's up, people? So, uh, video you're about to see here requires all three of my brain cells, and it shouldn't really need all three of them. But I'm glad the third one woke up because it ended up being a whole lot easier than I was going to make it. Okay? All right. That's all I got to say. Enjoy, like, subscribe, comment, good, bad, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you got to do. Just bring it. All right? Enjoy. We got problems. Problem number one. Tenet's not here. So, I have no idea which unit I'm looking at, but I'm going to attempt to start here. And I don't know how big the suite is. I can't see the inside. I don't know if it stops here. I don't know if this is their own, this one. This one's doing stuff. I got compressor with no fan. Lots of heat out on high head pressure. How you wanna, you wanna, you wanna bet this is the guy? Oh, work out. No need to be like that. Find out why that fan's not running. And you know, we're backed up today. Well, let me rephrase that. I'm backed up today. All the guys are on a very, very in-depth job. And your boy, your boy's the one out running the things today. So I am needless to say, I'm backed up. So we're gonna try and knock these puppies out as quickly as humanly possible. We're definitely short cycling. Well, luckily that high pressure switch is doing its job and we still have a compressor. But we need to make sure that motor is not getting, or the motor is getting power, if it is. And we can go and replace on it, hopefully today, and hopefully I have the right one. Yeah, that's a, well, that's a capacitor right there. Wonder why, I've never seen one like that. SHP2, 70 by five microfarad. That means this is a single phase unit. Is that accurate? Because the compressor should not have a start cap if it's three phase, this is a single phase unit. All right. Hopefully this will be a quick one. We find a bad motor, can move on with our lives, or even quicker than that, we find a burned up wire, fix the wire, motor turns on, everybody's happy. That would be even better. That would be much, much more gooder. All right. Where are my fan? Wires. Yes, it's easy. Ish. Ish. Yeah, that's this these guys right here. Here's my well, give me some huh? Gee, where's my other one? That's how on the top of the contactor. So I'm gonna check from my common on volt with the wavy line. We're gonna check on our common to here. 245 okay 245 she's getting full voltage looks like we either got a bad capacitor or a bad motor the one of the ways you can tell if your capacitor is bad or not is as soon as it's trying to run give that give that fan a push start if it's a bad start cap and you're the one starting it you don't need the start cap that thing just doesn't fit Try this one. Yeah, that'll work. I want to give myself as much start as humanly possible. It is an old motor. While we're looking at this thing, let's see what we got here. We got 208, 230 volt, quarter horse. Oh, here we go. She ain't doing nothing. And that sucker is hot as hot can get so 
I'm gonna put us in a brand new motor real quick like I'm, just, I'm probably gonna do a third or half horse because I didn't see the RPM so what are my rip -ums? rip them rip them 1100 so we'll put in a i think i have a third horse if not we're gonna go half i really don't care right now i'm in a hurry half is not gonna hurt anything it's gonna run about one more amp okay that's it so let me go down and see what i got and i'll be right back gopro is gonna overheat today promise see if we can make it through this one without it overheating well i did drag up the half horse 1075 and then when I got up here, I had a brain cell wake up, I guess from the coffee this morning. I don't know. But she started talking to me and saying, why don't you check the thing? Oh, okay, check the thing. I'm glad the brain cell woke up. Capacitor is giving me, I'm not kidding people, all right? 630, 630 microfarads to my fan which is supposed to only be five so i checked the compressor side compressor is giving me 25 and it's supposed to be 70. so we're going to change this first i don't think it's going to make any difference because that motor's probably already completely trashed and uh once i change this uh and we find out the thing's still trashed we'll replace the motor so i brought a quarter horse up here it is a 1075 typically i will not replace uh a quarter horse with a quarter horse when it's uh a universal if it's already universal quarter horse it don't matter but if it's if you go oem you can go back with the same stuff but if you're not then we have got the thing to do the stuff with let's so today I always carry me a couple turbo caps carry the big one and the little one because we don't do very many uh what would be single phase type units so more of these would be more residential style uh this one's not residential style but not very common to see or at least in this area don't sit there and tell me it's common okay to see a single phase rooftop unit uh, we need to get to 70 microfarads. That's going to be this 50. So this is a turbo cap. You ain't, you ain't never used a turbo cap before? There you go. You got all your different things here. Tells you the ferrets that's going to give out. Oh, give out this ferret and that ferret and that ferret. What you're going to do is you're going to add them up. 50 plus 20 is 70. I know that because my brain cell woke up. You see? We're going to hook up. Oh. The 20. Oh, bent the crap out of that. 20 and the 50. To make 70 okay now that is 70 microfarads then we're just going to go to this five that's four there's five that's four and six that's funny i don't even care either one they both say five we're going to be close enough your center is going to be your common um yeah i don't know that's that's the thing um they're pretty freaking simple so this one should be my fan is that my fan fan yep that's my fan so we're gonna put that on the five and then our commons get over here i always go wire for wire people because i don't like i don't like jacking around with these things and getting the wrong deal on the wrong thing of course we already know that blue is my herm and the yellows are my commons yeah that's crazy i've never seen trade pro not very much of a pro all right we hook our herm up to the deal here because that's getting 20. right chop hook our common and our common Hit. okay let's uh i don't know i don't see it coming on i really don't but i always save these jumpers people they come in handy I'll tell you what tell you what we're not even gonna bolt her down yet 
Let's see what we got. Oop, almost fell on the capacitor. Bring the fire. We got a fan. I don't know how that's working. Simple, easy, quick. I ain't got to do the thing with the stuff. I drug two freaking motors up here. Wasted all that time. All it was was a dead gum capacitor. All right. Good thing the brain cell is actually doing stuff right now because I don't even know if that's going to fit in the thing. Let's see if I can do this without shocking anything. I ground out this cap. I'm already screwed because I ain't got no more. Got to sit on the... What is holding me back? It's too big. The other one was much shorter and could fit underneath that harness. This one won't fit underneath the harness. So, that's super. Okay. Well, luckily these things come with the deal thing. You zipper around the whole thing there and shoot a, a deal in there and you're good to go. Well, that's what we're going to do. Of course, it was backwards. Come on, shoot! I'm not gonna make it very tight because it's got a reach. And it even comes with a dead gum screw. Of course, I'm putting that in the pocket. That's a big one. That's a 3 8 I can find a shorter one. Hey, there's one. Um, this one's this one's done. This one's an easy one. It could have been easier if I had just, you know, the first job. Just Got to get the brain cell doing what brain cells are supposed to do and mine just take a minute, all right? All right, that shot in there just to make sure she don't want to fall out or something. Oh, there goes the screwdriver. We'll take this trade pro and throw her in a trash. Uh, don't leave your trash on the roof, people. I know. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, well, I'm telling you, don't leave the trash on the roof. It's, it's just crappy, all right? These jumpers go in the junk pocket. If I need anything in the world, ah, I can find it right in there. Um, I'm gonna button her up and we're gonna get off this roof, get onto the next best thing. I'm glad I didn't waste all my time changing that motor out, especially today when we got stuff. My next two jobs I will not be filming because they are in apartment complexes and people live there and get all up in their feelings. And yeah, I don't like putting people's personal business, homes and whatnot all up on the internet. I try to do this the right way, all right? So this is what you get today, quick and simple. I do have time to walk this roof. I haven't been up here before, so first for me. So, let's see what we got while that thing runs. Oh, let me fix this while I'm here. The trap just fell right off of her. It is not. Man, someone put tape on it, which is what someone else is about to do to try and get it to hold up. I'm gonna use a little bit. It just goes off the side of the roof anyway. I don't think that's going to matter. I'm not going to worry about it. I do want to fill the trap though. <laughs> Use some of my hydration that I have not partaken of yet. Hmm. Mm hmm. Trap is leaking. That's super great. We're going to do the right thing and tape the crap out of it because I don't really think I have enough stuff to build another trap right now. I got some one inch traps in the truck. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Don't ask. I have no idea why I have them. They're in there. I ain't going to work on this because this is three quarter inch. All right. Let's tape up our leakage. Oh, no, don't do that. Get off of there. Do what I say. Well, we'll just do it like this. That's what I really was trying to do, you know. 
to make sure that we get it nice and tight. I see where it's cracked now. Probably cracked in the winter time during a freeze. Happens a lot with our copper fittings. This is not copper, but hey, PVC still cracks. Whoops, I just poured the freaking trap juice all over myself. There's that. Yay. We've got a curb here. It used to be a thing, but there's not a thing anymore. We're over somebody else's suite. There's a lot of suites, little tiny ones in this place. Swamp cooler. I don't want to touch that thing ever. Cancer maker. And that cancer maker is called Direct TV. There's a makeshift panel. Somebody did custom OEM job on that one. Good job. Exhaust fan. I don't remember seeing a restaurant here. It's amazing for as hot as it is already that there's not more of these units running right now. Where are we today? We are in Fort Worth, Texas. It took me quite a while to get here today. There's a weird cancer maker thing over there. I think that one's calling the aliens. Yeah, that's an alien caller. That's not a cancer maker. These drains are just all over the place. Just broken, nobody cares. That one's leaking. We've got some air leaks. You see how it's condensating right here? Yep, well, they also got a big old hole right here. You can put these holes here, people, but plug them back up when you're done. People usually use these for um, checking the discharge air temperature. That's a big old hole for just checking your discharge air temperature. There's a good trap right there, working perfectly fine. No vent tube, not my worry. Got another air leak over here, same, same thing. They stuck a hole in the supply and the return, which is fine again, but plug it back up. I don't understand. I don't think this guy's one of my guys. Hasn't even tried to turn on yet. I think this is probably all they got. And she's already condensating, dripping, pouring out. It's probably humid as crap in there. This thing ain't running about a day, in, about a full day. Anywho, there's your roof walk, people. I'm gonna try to avoid the stuff over there when I pull the old ladder out. So that I can be here for another video, you know? I don't mind getting shocked by 120 every now and then 208 just to wake you up. But I'm not trying to go 10,000, you know? 5,000, whatever that may be. We're not trying to do that today or tomorrow or ever for that matter. So take care, people, whenever you're putting your ladders up, even if they're fiberglass, take care when you're putting them up around power lines. Uh, there's some PVC. I can take that to the house. Maybe build a dog house or something. I don't have a dog. Whatever. Until next time, people. Stay cool. Deuces.